Hello folks, it's me Patrick, and at the time that I'm recording this video, it is currently 3.21 p.m. on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2020. And this is exactly what the video is about. I will be explaining to you guys the events that happened in 2020 and, you know, my overall review. So, let's start in January of this year. So, it was like any other year, I was very excited when the ball dropped at midnight on January 1st, 2020, and it, it was really just normal for the first few weeks, you know, I did all the things, went to school in person five days a week, and life was normal, except one week in January, it, this was a Friday, and I did not feel very good, but I still went into school anyway, and then a few hours later, I get sent to the nurse's office, and then I find out that I had a fever of 103 degrees, and I had, like, all the symptoms of the flu, so then they send me home, and then I go to the doctor's, and... I tested negative for both the flu and strep, and since I basically had all the symptoms, something tells me I probably had COVID-19 way back in January when, like, nobody was really aware of this. I'll, I'm, I'm sure they were aware, but they, this was not very serious back in January, and yeah, from that date, the, the next week after that Friday, absolute worst week ever. I couldn't stand it. I ended up also kind of losing my voice um, when that happened. Um, and yeah, it, it was just terrible. So I wouldn't be surprised if I had COVID way back in January. Now, February was basically the same. I had a winter concert in band. That was nice. We played with the high scores and I was in middle school earlier this year, um, way back in February, I you know, less than a year, but um, that was nice. February was pretty normal. Also went on some camp outs with my scout troop, which also happened in January. We did some camp outs. And little did I know that until this very day, um, that February camp out with my troop would be the last camp out that I've currently been on with them because of COVID. Now, March, this is where things get a little bit, you know, weird this year. Um, Everything was normal except there was more news about COVID and, and the media and all of that. Now, I I remember March 13th was like the last day that everything was normal. And actually, I had to, I was out of school for a family event and we met up with a bunch of um, my dad's, you know, relatives and that was basically the last normal day where there was no mask wearing or social distancing. And then I remember on the way back from that event, when I came back from New York State down here in New Jersey where I live, I got an announcement, an email from my school saying that they were, we were going to be virtual for the next two weeks. So I was like, okay, we'll see how this goes. And then t two weeks later, find out that we're going to be virtual for the next month. So I'm like, oh, great. How long is this going to last? And then um, after that, we kept getting more emails. Now, we did not actually have any virtual, you know, Google Meets until September of this year. That that was because they this school was you know, trying to figure out how to do all this virtual stuff, because, you know, first year that we ever had to do it because of COVID-19. Now, getting back to March, the rest of the month was kind of normal, and then in 
April. Um, COVID over here in New Jersey, as I'm sure you guys know, it got much worse. <clears throat> and Governor Murphy declared the mask mandate, which is still in effect right now. And that was the first time I had actually gone around wearing a mask. And I also tried cycling with a mask on. Didn't really end that well. I'm probably not going to cycle with a mask on again unless I really have to do that. But, you know, we spent the entire month of April doing virtual learning where the teachers just gave us the assignments and we got them done. Um, I also, you know, was constantly checking the COVID-19 statistics and the data because I was scared that we were all going to die. And also in April, I managed to get myself accepted into the Jefferson Township High School Multimedia Broadcasting and Journalism Academy, which I'm in right now. And that's where I'm learning all of the journalism skills that I need. And that's also where I learned how to do interviews. So I, I learned how, how to interview people currently, how to make basic videos and when I learned all of that, it really helped me when I went to the Trump parade that was here in Jefferson Township and interviewed a bunch of people there. Um, rest of April was, you know, pretty normal, as I said. May, um, the COVID started to get a little bit better here in New Jersey, but not great. And, you know, school was the same because by then... Governor Murphy had declared, you know, the school is closed for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year. So we are going to be virtual anyway till June, which is the next month. And in May, you know, I basically did all the same stuff that I did in April. Um, went cycling around the neighborhood a lot and... Um, I was able to hang out with my friends, but we all were wearing masks and we couldn't go inside. Um, so yeah, May was basically the same as April, except a little bit warmer, as I'm sure you guys know, you know, it's going into summer in May. But, yeah, it's still spring in May. But yeah, you, you guys know. So, in June... That was the last month of school. I am still hanging out with friends and I managed to open my first checking account and get a debit card, which I was definitely happy about because, you know, now with COVID, stores don't want you to go in and pay with cash anymore. They really want you to either use your phone to pay for stuff like uh, right here. It would want me to use my phone or either pay with a card because cash, everybody touches that, it's dirty, you know. So yeah, stores don't want that anymore. And um, June was pretty normal. We spent like the first two weeks of June in school, virtual doing schoolwork and then I actually graduated from middle school this year, eighth grade. Um, that, that was nice. And then the rest of June, you know, I did watch my younger brother, William, and I did more scouting related stuff like working on merit badges. I earned quite a few of those this year. Now, Let's see, July was basically like June, except, you know, school was out. It was hot. I was still watching William and doing scout stuff. And funny story, I went with my dad and my older brother to New Hampshire, and we managed to do a backpacking trip on the Cohost Trail. We hiked from the town of Stark, New Hampshire, down to Hart's location, where the uh, southern end of the trail is. And 
I made a slideshow about that. It's, it's only on my Facebook page, but um, if you guys want me to post that on YouTube, please, uh, leave, please leave the request in the comments section. I know I will read it. Um, but getting back to July, that was nice. And, you know, New Hampshire wasn't really doing that badly in July with COVID either. So there weren't that many restrictions. And we were also from New Jersey, though, which is a low risk state back in July. Now, August, basically the same as July, still watched my younger brother, but we did manage to go on family vacation where we visited New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And we drove back through Massachusetts and Connecticut. Um, and unfortunately, on the way back, um, the Honda Odyssey, which I made a video about the 2007 Honda Odyssey that we had, unfortunately got hit when we were in Massachusetts. Um, you can check out my video on that where I, I showed it before it got hauled away. But, you know, other than that, the trip was great. I have photos from that as well. Um, you know, I, I could post that, if, I guess, if you guys want to see it. Again, put it in the comments section, and I will do my best to show you guys all that, if you want it. Um, so August was an, a good month, and really the entire summer was nice. Um, we also managed to go and visit... So my um, grandparents again in August, back when COVID over here was not really a threat. And yeah, nice month. September, we were back in school, except we were virtual for the entire month because um, of some, some uh, unfortunate circumstances in our district, you know, where people really didn't want to go back in person to uh, to to the school, so we were virtual for like the first two months. I also did cross country in this September. Um, my time, my running times were really not that good. I was running like twenty four minute five k's, which I I could do better than that. But you know, I haven't run cross country. And I think four years, I haven't done this since 2016, so it's nice to get back out. <clears throat> um, so October was um, nice, and so is September and October. Now, at the beginning of the month, we had another family event um, on my dad's side. We saw his relatives again. That was nice. We went up to uh, Syracuse, New York for that. Fortunately, I cannot release photos for that. But it was nice. Saw some of my family members again, extended. And that was also before COVID became a threat, like it is right now in December. Um, so October was a nice month. I was still running cross country and all of that. Now, November, which was last month, finished my cross country season. My last race was on the, the 14th, I think. Yeah, yeah, November the 14th. And the rest of the month was pretty normal. I've really been getting into cycling in the past month and in November. And we ended up having Thanksgiving here in New Jersey, and I ran a 5K on Thanksgiving Day. That's the uh, that's one of my videos that I filmed. That was the 5K in Sandiston Township, New Jersey, and I had a nice Thanksgiving with my family. We all had Thanksgiving dinner at this house, at my house here in Jefferson Township, and. It, it was nice. So that was November. And now this month, December, um, we 
we um has been doing two days a week in school and three days a week virtual and actually that started in November as well and so we we usually go in on Monday and Thursday in person at at my school my brother and I and you know we we all wear the masks and we're socially distanced when we go in there but it's nice to have some in-person interaction um every week two days a week and then the other and then two other days we're on google meets for our classes and then on another day our teachers just give us the assignments to do and we get them done at, at our pace so i i always like the schedule we are on right now um and right now i'm currently on um holiday break i guess you could call it for my school and you know i've been enjoying my christmas we really couldn't visit anybody in person so we called them and i also just did the thunder swamp trail with my father in pennsylvania so check out the video that's the last video i posted right before this one so yeah 2020 in my opinion you know it was nice everything except for covid really not not the best and as always um i would like to hear from you guys in the comments section um your your thoughts and your opinions on how 2020 was and as always let's hope that 2021 is just a little bit better thank you for watching guys